You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Your Area DMG. I am your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to talk about a bit of a problem with the Nintendo Switch and a product that, well, we went to DreamHack over the we over a weekend or so ago, and uh, well, this company was all like, "Oh, hey, you should check this out," and they gave me a product, and I was like. Okay, I guess this is a good thing. And it turned out to be an amazing thing. So, I'm going to talk to you about what the pro product does by mentioning something about the Nintendo Switch. You know what I love about the Nintendo Switch? You can play games anywhere. Oh man, I got some uh, fingerprints and junk all over my screen. Eh, oh well, I've got a glass protector on that. So those are fingerprint magnets. One thing about the Nintendo Switch, sometimes I want to hear the music, but the people around me don't. So let's see, headphones are a thing that you kind of need. And now, since they did the, uh, since they did that last update, 4.0, um, USB headphones will work when you're docked. Like the little wireless ones from Sony will work if you're docked, but that doesn't help you if you're out on handheld or tabletop. In fact, like seriously, if you if you play handheld, which a lot of people do, it's kind of useless to have something you plug into your dock. And you ha might have headphones like here are some uh, Apple iPod, iPad pod things, ear pods or whatever the heck they call them, something pods. And they have this little thing right here, you know, you you just plug this into the top and then you uh then you're good to go, right? Except this sucks. Look at that. Look look at this stuff here. That it just sticks out the top and if you're sitting there holding it like this and all that, it can get in the way cuz it loops back over. It it could fall down when like let's say you're uh you're plugging it in and it just falls over this way because you know, that's that's a terrible place for that to be. It makes sense on a handheld for that to be there because like also if you're docked you can actually attach headphones or other things to it via that port like an external speaker or whatnot and run the sound that through that way. But this is kinda it's kinda bad and it doesn't get better depending on how long the cords are or whatnot and it's just kind of a pain in the butt and you don't even know if it's really filtering the sound to you directly. Now, if you want really good sound on these things, you do need a USB headset or a USB headphones. And, well, this Apple thing, this don't cut it. Seriously, just, ugh, yuck. Let's throw that away. I love that it automatically mutes it when you, did, when you pull something out, which is a good way to, uh, you know, um, prevent noise pollution or whatnot. But what do you do about that? Well, this company, Viotech, they make 4K monitors. And then they gave us the Viotech Aqua Stereo Explorer. These are type C lossless ceramic headset, headphone, headsets, or you know, like they, they go in your ear. They have an eight millimeter driver they have a rated power of 3 milliwatts, an impedance of 16 ohms, I think that's what it is. Sensitivity is 96 something, 36 dB, sorry, 3 dB at 1K Hertz, 1 MV, I don't know what any of that means. Frequency range, 20, kilo, 20 kilohertz to uh, 20K, wait, 20 to 20 kilohertz. Ceramic earphone material, plug type is USB-C with USB 3.1, cable material is oxygen free, copper, etc, etc, working temperature is 14 Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit. It's pretty cool and it's got like this dude that looks like PewDiePie on the cover, just a little bit like, eh, th there we go, ah, th this has to be like longer hair or whatnot, but it looks a little bit like him, don't it? Sorta? Kinda. Well, inside the box is uh, all sorts of paperwork and then a little thing to hold them in. And these are what they look like. I was just like, really, this will be good on the phone because we have USB-C. 
maybe they'll work on the Switch. I thought about that for a moment, and then, well, I was like, okay, I, I guess I'll, uh, thank you. And, uh, I took these things home, and I popped them in. They're pretty good. They have multiple tips, so you can change them to for your ears or whatnot. And I was like, well, here's the big test. Will these will these work? And it now says USB. And well, to kind of I should have known they would, but they do. Ah, they are snug. They work they work to kind of noise cancel stuff around you and the sound comes out beautiful and pure just mmm just just smooth I wish I could demonstrate this to you in some way to show you how smooth these are but why don't you imagine like ice cream smooth just mmm I am so tempted to get another pair of these things because there are two switches in the house, you know? And, oh, these work on the phone perfectly. They work on the switch perfectly. They do exactly what they say they will, and they do it well. If you're a fan of earpieces like the ear pods or whatnot, and you want quality, quality product, I like these. They haven't failed me yet, and they're good. Just, mmm, really good bass separation really good highs, really good lows, just everything about these seems to work exactly how I want it to work. And they, they look pretty cool. They're, they're not uncomfortable and they're uh... you pop them in and your world disappears. Everything around you just disappears. It's just you and the sound of Stardew Valley or Mario Odyssey which if you've played a lot of Mario Odyssey there's a lot of jumping of whoop, Mia, mama mia, oi, oi, yay, yay, and that stuff, and I'm like, oh, good lord, and it'll be even better when, like, stuff like Sonic Forces or Doom comes out, and you'll just be like, ah, because, like, seriously, if you have sound leaking out everywhere, and people are looking at you, like, why do you have the volume up, that's no fun, or games like, uh, let's say, Samurai Kagura is coming out next year, right? That'll come out over here, and that's what headphones are for, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, these are the Biotech Aqua Stereo Headphones. You can get them from anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks. Um, you can buy them directly from the company, and I'll put a link down to the company that makes them in the thing below, so you can check it out. I don't get paid for that. They just were like, hey, you should check these out. And I was like, thank you. I will check these out. And I did. And I was impressed. I was pretty hyped about these. In fact, I actually did this video twice. I did a video earlier about it, and I was like, mm, I don't feel like this video really brings everything I want to say about these out to the open. And then I thought, well, okay, I'm just going to delete that video and uh, make a new one. And this is that new video. I have had more time with them, and I realized that, yeah, these are quality. They last they're, they're worth it. These are the Viotech Aqua Stereo Headphones. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. Oh, and if you hit that subscribe button, right next to it is a little bell. Make sure that you ring that little bell so that you are notified anytime we have a brand new video here on your area DMG and until the next video comes out you are now caught up